Hello and welcome to Applied CIX. Today I'm going to talk about some uh, resultant topology optimization features and do some convergent modeling on uh, what we see. Uh, so what we have here is a bracket setup where uh, it's a multiple piece bracket that's been um, had a design space built for it and then topology optimization came up with this resultant body here in blue. So if I turn these off here Kind of see how it was created. Let's reverse that. Okay. So hide that. What I want to see here is uh, uh, I want to make some modifications. So I've got a little hole in my part that's probably due to the weight target and the topology optimization. I've got a sharp edge here, uh, and I've got kind of a spindly little leg here so I may want to increase the, 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 the margin here so I'm going to go into what's called the polygon modeling environment and I'll select uh, my body it'll turn it into a convergent body I'll see that over here in just a second so let's create a convergent body and I'm going to turn on facet edges just so I can see the, the quality of the, of the surface that I have around here I'm going to go in and create a subdivide. And the subdivide, I'm going to use my lasso tool and pick kind of a, a good area in here. And allow that to subdivide. You'll see the, the facet count in here really greatly increase. And it's much, much tighter. I also want to create a, an offset. So there's a tool called Local Offset right here that uh, I'm going to uh, offset it by a little bit, give it a, give it a constant offset, and let it be all nice and smooth. And you'll see how this works here in just a second. So I'm just going to select this small area here. You see how it's kind of bulged up in the center, but kind of tapers back down. If I collect in more of these facets, you'll see how it kind of grows to the outside. So I'm just going to continue to grab a few more and make it look the way I want it to. Kind of give it the look that I'm that I'm going for here. Say okay. And now that's been upsized a bit. So I'm going to turn off my facet edge display. What I have over here is a sharp on this this edge, and I'd like to clean that up and create what's called a uh, transition. It's kind of like an edge blend. I can do a round or a flat transition. I'm just going to make a small one here. I'm going to try and pick as close to that edge as I can even though technically there's not really an edge there. I get a preview of what it's going to try and do, of how far off the offsets are. I can drag these end balls on either side and get adjust my preview and adjust how I want it to look. Maybe just a little bit more on this side. Get it to crawl up that wall just a bit. And just a little bit more over here. And I can show the result before I accept it. See that I have a nice, nice smooth transition. Say OK. Now that's stuck. The last thing here is I've got this hole. And likely this is made due to a, uh, a condition in the topology optimization. I like to turn on facet edges here. Uh, uh, oh, the, the, the condition would be uh, like a weight target. Um, so this just looks kind of silly. It makes it harder to, to, to fabricate the part. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm going to do a, a, a snip and use some more uh, tools that are available to me as far as being able to pick the different pick facets in a different way. So I'm just going to use a rough brush. And I want to turn my facets on so you can see exactly how that's picking that information. So if I flip this to a fine brush, everything has to be within my cursor. So as I'm walking around, you'll see that it's not really picking everything that way I would like it to. So I'll switch this to a rough brush and then there we go and to get the area in between instead of having to pick it all I'm just going to do what's called a flood fill and you get this the little marker that shows up in there and it just marks everything flip it to the other side and you can see how it's selected all those facets and I say okay and it looks like I just punched a great big old hole in my in my convergent body here and I just did uh, what I want to do now is fill this hole Select the body, and you can see these highlighted edges here that says this is a hole that I can that I can work with. 
I can make it linear, refine, tangent base, or curvature base. The tangent base is going to be just fine. Pick the, both of those, say OK. And now that area is cleaned up. Turn off my facet edges. And I can kind of see exactly what I was going for. I'll show the design environment that was originally used for the topology optimization and how we got here. And then show the original uh, bracket that it's replacing with this new, uh, new approach. So that was polygon modeling environment using subdivide, snip and fill hole, as well as transition and a local offset. Thanks for watching.